Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This is an HP 240G9 model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can add, remove and upgrade the RAM on your laptop. I'm in a short video how to you can find out your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. I'll leave the link in the video description so you can check it out based on the CPU generation that you have on your version of the laptop. We have upgraded this laptop to I think Two thirty at uh, sixteen gig and thirty two gig uh, with no problem. You can put two sixteen gig. You can get it up to thirty two gig with no problem. But that's really unnecessary. I'll, the sweet spot for this one are sixteen gig for this processor. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'll leave the compatible RAM in the video description so you can check yours. All right, gentlemen. By upgrading the RAM, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything's going to be left the way you had it before. So there is no reason for you to worry about configuration or anything like that. All right, first thing first, power up the laptop, flip it upside down, and down here we're going to see right away there's a two screws right in here in front of the laptop. These screws are the short screws. We're going to grab ourselves the opening tool. I'll be using a guitar, uh, I fix it opening tool. We're going to use a Phillips number one. If you get the opening tool, the Pro Set, they will give you an opening tool. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick, and metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. First, remove these two tiny screws. These are the small, short screws. Remove them and keep them in one pile. And then you want to remove these rubber feet, rubber covers, just by sliding the opening to right underneath. Just take it right underneath, and you can lift it up with an adhesive right underneath. That's a double-sided adhesive tape. And peel it off, put it to one side. All right. Same thing on the back end here. You start whichever corner you want, and Grab it and bring it up, and you're gonna see three screws down there. All right, remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mix matching them. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and supports the channel to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we're done with that, now we're gonna open up the laptop a little bit, 45 degree. Just like this. Now we're going to stick the opening tool, the guitar pick in this case, between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. Now we're going to twist it outward like that, and you're going to hear this big click sound. Those are the clips are getting loose. That's what you want to hear. You want to just do it like this, all around, to the corner, back, like that. Oh, the cover is almost coming loose. Do the same thing on this side. I'm sticking about one or two millimeters of the guitar pick. I'm not sticking the whole thing in there. Once you did the sides and the front, lift it up, pull it around, and you're gonna hit clicks at the back end, and that's the bottom cover coming out. All right, and right away, we can see the RAM right over here. These are two different, distinct color. This is brand new, so I mean, they're from manufacturer. They put different one in here. You don't need to disconnect the battery to do RAM upgrade, absolutely not necessary, but for those paranoid people that are like, oh, you can drop a screwdriver in there, you can touch the board with no problem, with the battery connected, even with the charger connected, nothing's gonna happen. Um, I've been doing this for over 20 years, but if you wanna be paranoid and you think you can drop something metallic over the board, just remove the screws for the battery. There's one over here, two, three, four screws. That holds the battery in place. Remove these tiny four screws. But again, this is not necessary to do this upgrade. You don't even have to have a, anything strapped to your arm. Just grab it, pull it upward, and you can disconnect it from here. All right. But again, if you flip it over, you can lose this plastic. This plastic is kind of riser, keeps it in there. Put it down, make sure the screw holds match, and push down here and put back this. The, screw right on top. I'm gonna do it without the battery removed because there is no reason for me to remove the battery to do this. But if you want that extra step of caution, go ahead and remove the battery. All right, let's go back to the RAM. The RAM right away here. All right. To remove the RAM, you wanna put your fingers on these triggers in here on the side, and you wanna pull them away from each other. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And what you want to do, you want to grab it in a 45 degree angle and you just want to pull it back in a 45 degree angle, just like that. All right, same thing in the other one. So let's remove this one, open it up, 
slide it back in 45. If you pull it upward towards the ceiling, you can lift up the laptop or you can damage the dim or break the, the slot in there for the RAM. This is a eight gig and eight gig. So there's a 16 gig in here. You can, these are a DDR4. You can grab a 16 gig in, in here and 16 gig in here to get a 32 gig. We have done it. It works perfectly fine, All right? So once you have the new RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM here, this notch over here is a little off center, matches the notch right on the dim. So if I try to put it the other way around, it will simply not go through. It's like a, it just doesn't align. So you have to align it, bring it in 45 degree angle inside the connector, and then simply push it towards the motherboard and watch this trigger as I push it towards the motherboard. They open and close and make a soft click sound and they stay straight. And once it's in there, push it down a little bit. You're going to hear this flexible. The whole RAM is like a flexing a little bit inward and out. That's what you want to feel. Same thing in here. Make sure the notch are matching. Push it all the way inside the dim, and then bring it towards the motherboard and push it. And you're going to hear this uh, flex. The strings stay straight. And when I push it down, I feel this kind of rebounds right there. That means the RAM is in correct place. Now, when you power on, when you power it on, it might do a few flashing on the screen, on and off, wait for 30, 40 seconds, because it's going to do a mem check. After the mem check, it's going to boot up just normally. All right, once you're done with that, just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and push the corners down. You want to hear those click sound, the back end here, and the side like that, and the front end. And what you want to do here, put the three screws at the back row, and the one screw on the front row and the two screw tiny one right on the curve. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys to do your own RAM upgrade for your HP 240G9 laptop. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm going to power on so you guys can see that it does power on with no problem. And I hope it does have some battery in it. Otherwise, you guys are going to be like, I put it with no battery, but who knows. All right, let's go ahead and power it on. And let me see if it does have any juice. I'm going to press F10 to go to the BIOS. It does power on. The light is on, so it's not showing anything on the screen. So it's going to give me a text CMOS reset to the uh, default probably. So let's F10 for the BIOS, and I'm in the BIOS already. 240 14 inch G9. And there's an 8 gig, 16 gig, iCore 3 12 gen. And that's it for today's video.